Brett Wilkin. And I'm Asher Retta, and this is Psychedelic State News. In our top story of the evening, Mike Tyson has thrown his hat in the ring as a contender for future clinical trials of DMTX, not to be confused with the highly sought-after dog beverage DMXT. <laughs> The former heavyweight champ has expressed his fondness for 5-MeO-DMT in the past, stating, In my trips I've seen that death is beautiful. Life and death both have to be beautiful, but death has a bad rep. The toad has taught me that I'm not going to be here forever. There is an expiration date. Former opponent Evander Holyfield was also quoted as saying, I wish he would have smoked that shit before he bit my fucking ear off. I think he was just trying to give him a little kill. DMTX, which through the use of an IV drip, produces an extended state of the DMT experience, stabilizing DMT levels in the blood and turning what was previously a 10-20 to 20 minute trip into a multi-hour deep dive into hyperspace. Said to be five times stronger than ayahuasca, the excitement for these trials has extended beyond the retired boxing community, mainly to this guy. He looks like a real pro. From Portland, Oregon, the ever-evolving psychedelic landscape has produced the first retail psilocybin mushroom storefront in the United States. The Shroom House on Burnside has made waves with its give-no-fucks attitude toward current drug policy, snubbing the law and creating new jobs in the area. And while the political right still claims that liberals don't want to work, the Shroom House has had no issues filling its entire staff and continues its middle finger to current law by paying its employees in pre-owned Teva sandals and Nog Chump. I could smell it. From here. The E. Yelp reviews of the marketplace have been overwhelmingly positive, but some aren't sharing in the excitement. Sharon H., whose previous positive reviews include Cat Groomers and Michael's Crafts, had this to say. Tasted horrible. Couldn't get one down even in my famous mushroom and anchovy casserole. Hubby was somehow able to stomach the flavor, but now I'll shut the fuck up about something called the Lennon Claypool Delirium? Fuck is that? On a more positive note, X Raw Dog 69 x wrote, SDG F09 UFS DGJ, later revising his five star review to four and adding, Good time, but couldn't get hard. Hold on, Brett. We're, we're receiving breaking news update on the story. Um, Portland police spokesperson Kevin Allen has stated that the officers have made four arrests at the shop and seized $13,000 in cash and a large amount of suspected psilocybin products. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm getting another update issued by police at the scene updating the totals to roughly 650 pounds of psilocybin mushrooms, 400 boxes of mushroom chocolate bars, and $80 in cash. Seems a bit light. X Raw Dog 69X remains at large, and there's been no word on the status of his boner. I'm Ashley Retta. And I'm Brett Wilkin. And from all of us here at Psychedelic State, we wish you safe travels. Mm-hmm.